Hello everyone, I am Gopal. I welcome everyone to the presentation of detection of R peaks in ECG signals using signals processing. What we would see in this presentation is what is ECG signal, what is uses of ECG, how ECG signals works, detecting R peaks in ECG signals, measuring the heart rate of a person using MATLAB. What is ECG signal? The heart rate muscle, muscles contract and expand to generate signals that is recorded as ECG. ECG is measured electrical activity of the heart. Graphical representation of the, of the electrical activity of myocardium over time is called ECG signal. How ECG works? An ECG signal is due to ionic current flowing causing the cardiac fiber to contract and relax subsequently generating a time variant periodic signal. The potential difference between two electrodes placed on the signal on skin surface is considered as an input to the ECG plotter. As we can see in this picture, uh, elect, elect, some electrodes are placed on body to detect ECG signal. An ideal ECG looks like this and it keep, keeps repeating itself. We will try to detect R peaks in this presentation. This is R peak in an ideal ECG signal. Now what is the uses of ECG? ECG helps in detection of a heart disease, electro, electrolyte disturbances, it helps in detection of conduction abnormalities and it helps in exercise stress test. So as we can see in this picture, this is an original ECG looks like and this is a closer look at ECG signal. So steps for detection of R peaks. First of all, we would use high pass filter to remove low frequency components and then we would use windowed filter to find local maxima and then uh, we would remove, remove small values in the, in the output of the windowed filter and we would store significant, significant out values and then we would adjust filter size and we would repeat this process two to three times so this is ECG signals original ECG signals after using fast Fourier transformation ECG looks like this this and after uh, after pass first pass of windowed filter this is what ECG ECG signal looks like and then we would try to remove these small frequencies from ECG signal to get R peaks. And this is what ECG looks like after second pass of window filter. And then we remove these small, frequen small frequencies from ECG signal to get R peaks. This is uh, these these. Uh, circles on the top of ECG signals are R peaks of ECG signals. Now we will see how to calculate heartbeat of a person. To calculating heartbeat of a person, we use this formula 60 into sampling rate over R by R interval. So now we would see implementation of this algorithm in MATLAB. Uh, as you can see the, uh, this is MATLAB script for RPIC detection. Uh, we have uh, two we have two sample data uh, which I got from this website and then we load these data into into our script so that we can work on them. 
so after that first of all uh, we we try to remove lower frequencies of input signal using fast fourier transformation from uh, we make a zero all we make some uh, starting starting and ending frequency to zero so that we can get best results and after that we use a uh, inverse fourier transformation to get back to time domain and then we define window size of our filter and and then we make it odd and then this uh, we we use this here uh, ecg in max function which i have defined here uh, this is ecg in max function uh, i gave this this specifications to our filter according to uh, our signal data so that we can filter uh, small frequencies of our signal then uh, this is uh, this is uh, we do a first pass over first pass at a fft filtered result and then we scale the ecg signal and then remove all the small frequencies from the filtered signal and uh, position of peak this is a pause one variable in which we we, fi we are finding a position of peaks and then finding distance between peaks and optimizing filter window size and qr distance so that we can op we can uh, optimize window size and then we do second pass of our windowed filter and then again we are optimizing over over ecg signal by removing a small frequencies using threshold filter and then uh, we do find position of peaks and distances between peaks to calculate uh, average distance and to calculate average heart rate as well as so i try try to plot all the stages of uh, filtering our signal filtering our ecg signal and which we, we which in which uh, we have plotted original raw input ecg data and and second was uh, after fft filtered and third was first pass of filter first pass of windowed filter and then we are removing all these uh, small frequencies and after second pass of window filter and then we are removing all the small frequencies to get best results and now we would we would run this our script as you can see in this picture this is original signal and this is what uh, over ecg signal looks like after filled after using a fast fourier transformation then it has removed low frequencies from our signal and and then uh, we we use first uh, we use over windows window filter to uh, remove to remove a uh, small frequency and uh, and we are now here we are detecting peaks in in ecg filter signal and then a uh, second pass of windowed filter and now we are detecting peaks in filter signal this is our final result in which we can uh, we can see these these 
these are r peaks of your ecg signal and this is a uh, first uh, for this is for first first sample and this is the final result in which we can see easily uh, r peaks of of ecg signal these uh, blue circles on the top of signal are r peaks of ecg signal this is the result for first sample and this these are the result for these are the result for second sample data as you can see here as well as these are r peaks and average heart rate for the first sample was 64 approximately and average heart rate for the second sample was approximately 80 so thank you